Federal investigators are trying to determine if an electrified third rail made Tuesday's Metro North crash even deadlier. The new developments come on the same day that two of the victims were laid to rest. CBS 2's Lou Young reports. At the scene of Tuesday's disaster, questions now about what went wrong and what might be missing. We watched as a lone NTSB investigator waited for the train at Commerce Street. The crossing here has flashing red lights and gates that descend in silence. There are no warning bells or sound of any kind, except for the approaching train. We can listen for the bells here. There are none. One sign that may be rail safety right here ought to have been better. U.S. Senators Richard Blumenthal and Charles Schumer led a congressional tour of the crash damage Friday. They prayed silently over flowers at the place where six people died and spoke about seeing the bent and burned SUV up close and the pierced lead train car burned from the inside. It's like looking into a coffin. The NTSB says it was that fractured third rail, an unusual bottom contact design that caused so much mayhem. There were 12 pieces of 39-foot sections inside the first uh, rail car. It's never happened before, and it's unclear if the design is to blame for the mishap or if this was a freak occurrence. Small comfort for the mourners who said goodbye to two of the six people killed today. SUV driver Ellen Brody's funeral was in Dobbs Ferry. Passenger Eric Vandercar's ceremony in Mount Kisco. The sudden public nature of their deaths, especially cruel. I said, boy, that looks a lot like Ellen. And sure enough, the next picture they put up was unmistakably Ellen and you just sit there stunned it's can't believe it. it's impossible everyone just loved Derek and and Jill and the family um, he's just loved across so many different groups of people beyond the grief there's a question of how to pay the tremendous cost of safety improvements at railroad crossings the federal act that funded those improvements was allowed to expire two years ago it has now been reintroduced in Westchester County Lou Young CBS 2 News and